protect yourself from the coronavirus, hindi yung pagsusuot ng face mask. Okay, nakakatulong siya ng konti, but not it's not the ultimate la, talagang protection. Kundi you use your, your alcohol 70%, yun yung gamitin mong pang, pang hand wash, maghugas, maghugas ng kamay, yun yung ultimate natin na um, protection. Magandang araw sa inyo. Ako po si Nurse Yen. Welcome back sa ating channel. If you are new here, welcome sa ating channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell para notified ka pag may bago po akong upload. As you can see sa ating pa-background dito, we will be talking about the NCOV uh, coronavirus or the novel coronavirus. At I will be giving some health tips at sasagutin po natin yung mga maling akala tungkol sa coronavirus. May 105 na po na Patients under investigation sa Pilipinas, 19 nito is naka-admit, 12 nito is na-discharge at yun, yun nga lang sa kasamaang palad, may isa na po tayong um, mortality. Signs and symptoms, it's a flu-like symptom. So, pag may trangkaso ka ba, ano yung nararamdaman mo? Obviously, may lagnat ka, medyo masakit yung kasukasuan, inuubo ka, at saka may respiratory symptoms din. So, you will have difficulty breathing, shortness of breath. Yan yung mga usual na signs and symptoms kung meron ka ng um, novel coronavirus. However, yung incubation period nito is from 2 to 14 days. Ibig sabihin, the symptoms can come out within the 2 days from getting the infection up to the 14 days. Ang problema kasi nito, kasi you can be a carrier ng virus without knowing it. Kasi usual complications ng ating novel coronavirus or any of the coronaviruses is um, kidney failure, you will have acute pneumonia, uh, ano pa ba? Um, yeah, acute respiratory syndrome, at worst is pwede itong ikakamatay pag hindi naagapan ka agad. Ano nga bang kasalukuyan na gamot? Unfortunately, it's a bad news. Wala pa pong gamot yung virus na ito kasi nga novel from the word novel ibig sabihin bago pa. So wala pa talagang gamot na naimbento para dito. However, yung approach namin sa hospital or sa hospital diyan sa Pilipinas is um symptomatic. So ibig sabihin kung ano yung sintoma sa pinapakita ng pasyente natin, let's say the patient went into the hospital and presented na may temperature siya, may fever siya. So, ginagamot namin, pinapababa namin yung temperature. And then, kung may cough siya, may pneumonia na siya, binibigyan siya ng mga strong antibiotic just to fight um, yung sa virus na ito. So, um, symptomatic yung approach natin. May vaccine na nga ba sa novel coronavirus? Unfortunately, kasalukuyan, um, nagde-develop pa rin tayo ng vaccine tungkol dyan. Ano abang dapat mong gawin pag may nararamdaman ka ng mga symptoms like flu-like symptoms? Um, I will I will suggest you stay at home. You try to to do self quarantine. Wag mo nang lumabas sa mga crowd uh, sa crowd sa mga crowded area. Only go out if necessary. Eat healthy, eat balanced diet, sleep well, take loads of fluid, take loads of vitamins, vitamin C at uh, multivitamins. That should be enough. However, if kung may um, respiratory sim symptoms ka na, like cough, hindi ka na makahinga, I would suggest that you go and seek for immediate help, medical help, as in ASAP. Go and seek for immediate help. Okay, wala namang kaso na wala naman tao sigurong uubo talaga sa mukha mo, tapos, diba, tapos nahawaan ka. Usually, ang mode of transmission nito is nakahawa ka ng bagay, tapos, um, Inano, pinahid mo sa mukha mo, sa mata mo, sa ilong mo Then, yun, nagkatrangkaso ka na, nagka-flu ka So, yun ang mode of transmission natin It's droplet, hindi po siya Okay, lahat tayo nagpapanik Nagkakaubusan na ng face mask na ganto sa Pilipinas Kasi sa maling paniniwala, pag nagsuot ka ng face mask, sapat na Face mask lang, sapat na Actually, you can get very little protection from your face mask unless you will be wearing the N95 which filters 95% of the viruses. At saka talagang uh, tamang-tama yung fitting nun sa mukha. Whereas itong usual na surgical mask kasi, um, it can maybe protect you from avoid like from touching your face, your ilong, your bibig, your mata siguro. Yeah? And then kung, kung meron kang ubo or sipon, at least hindi ka makahawa sa iba kasi at least when you cough, 
na nakakoveran yung uh, bibig mo. Ayun. Ang pinaka most effective talaga na para hindi ka mahawaan is through hand washing. Again, uulitin ko, ang paghuhugas ng kamay ang pinaka most effective na protection mo para hindi ka mahawaan. You can use any soap kahit detergent pa yan, as long as wala kang allergy, hindi ka sensitive, wala kang eczema, you can use detergent. Any bar soap will do. Basta, when you see your hands na medyo madumi na, maghugas ka agad. Kailan tayo kailangan maghugas ng kamay? Okay. Unang-una, before or and after using the banyo, pag uh, umihika or nag number 2 ka, so of course you have to wash your hands before and after eating, before and after preparing your food, at um, yeah, and before and after, no, after you cough, not before and after, after you cough, you have to wash your hands. After mo tanggalin yung face mask na ito, kailangan ka maghugas ng kamay. At saka, after you touch yung mga doorknobs, kasi that's the most dirtiest Uh, talagang ano parang kubeta din yan na sobrang dumi kasi sa dami ng tao na humahawak niyan every day and for your information the virus can live like 8 to 24 hours so sa doorknob na yan so pag gumawa ka sa mga sa jeep yung hawakan sa jeep or sa bus ayon so kailangan mo talagang mag maghugas ka agad ng kamay as, as much as possible avoid like holding or maghawak ng doorknob, yung hawakan sa jeep or sa bus, or yung sa toilet uh, cover, or yung sa faucet, yung sa gripo. Lahat ng pwedeng dapuan ng virus, pwede mo siyang punasan every day. And actually, if wala kang hindi ka maka-afford ng detol, okay, or any disinfectant spray, you can DIY, okay. So, simply lang, If you have Clorox or bleach, very very cheap lang naman yung bleach. So, kumuha ka ng isang cup ng bleach into one gallon of water. Mas maigi kung medyo maligamgam yung tubig, ihalo mo siya doon. So, one cup ng bleach, one gallon of water, ihaluin mo siya. And then, ilagay mo sa mga, yung mga spray bottles. Tapos, ispray mo sa doorknob, sa mga railings, sa faucet, sa countertops ng kitchen mo, sa desk ng table mo. Leave it for at, at least 10 minutes. Leave it. Para talagang tegok yung uh, virus and then you wipe it dry afterwards. Do it every day. So, ayun. So, hindi ano yung mga nare-recommend ko na products for your hand washing? Unang-una, I would recommend any alcohol lang. Okay? Kasi sabi daw, nagkakaubusan na rin ng alcohol. But, if you can have the 70% alcohol na kagaya nito, mas maigi. So, you can use this to wash your hand with this one. Kung, uh, but if you're at home at malapit ka sa faucet, mas maigi talaga maghugas ka using a hand soap. But if you are um, nagbabiyahe ka or away from the faucet, rubbing alcohol will do 70% will be fine. But if wala ka niyan, alcohol gel will be more than enough. Maraming nabibili nito sa Watsons or kung ano-ano. Pwede na yung alcohol gel. Okay? And then, if you are a healthcare worker, or kahit or sa mga clinics, As much as possible, you can buy um, uh, Pural, may mga ganun, may mga alcohol gel. Tapos, or ganito yung ginagamit namin, sterilium. Kasi this can kill a lot of viruses, including your rotavirus, adenovirus, at saka yung uh, polyoma virus. So, maraming virus na mamamatay uh, gamit nitong alcohol na to. So, ito yung gamit na actually namin sa hospital. A, a proper cough etiquette. Paano ba... Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng proper cough etiquette? So, when you cough, pag umubo ka, utang na loob, takpan mo yung bibig mo. Okay, after that, itapon mo yung tissue sa bin na, so, or sa basurahan na may cover. And then, you immediately wash your hands gamit yung alcohol gel, alcohol gel or rubbing alcohol. Ayun, so don't cough na just, ha, huh, sa harap ng mga tao. So, ang tamang pagsuot ng face mask. So, okay. So, ito po yung ating usual surgical face mask. So, anything na any brand will do, kung ano yung nakuha nyo, nabili nyo sa butika. Usually, yung colored part, yung ito dito, ito yung water-resistant na part. Ayan, sa harapan niya. And then, sa likod, ito yung um, absorbent part. So, yung puti, sa, yun yung nakalapat dapat sa bibig mo. And then, dito, sa taas na banda, parang, parang may metal yan siya na flexible siya, malleable. So, ayan. So, 
So, hawakan mo lang siya ng ganito. Okay? And then, ayan, i-press mo siya dito para lumapat sa inyong ilong. And then, isuot mo siya. Pag ganyan na, itali mo siya. Sa likod. Not too tight. Uh, leave a room para naman makahinga ka. Okay? And then, dito, i-stretch mo siya ng konti para cover hanggang dito. Ayan. And then, itali mo siya. So, pwede dito sa taas. I'm used to putting it uh, dito sa taas or pwede din sa likod. So, whatever suits you. Basta, nakabatak siyang ganito. And dito, nakakurba yung metal part. Tapos, kailangan nakalapat siyang ganyan. And then, ayan siya. So, ito yung tamang paggamit ng face mask. Ang face mask natin is, pwede mo siyang gamitin is, 8 hours lamang. Okay? So, more than that, kailangan mo na siyang itapon. Alright? Lalong-lalo na if you have cough, umuubo ka, may plema-plema ka, so, kailangan mo siyang itapon. Ano bang tamang pag-dispose ng ating face mask? So, pagkatanggal mo niyan, ganyan, tapos itapon mo siya sa basurahan na may cover. Mas maigi. And then, you immediately wash your hands using the 70% rubbing alcohol or if mas malapit ka sa lababo or sa sink, you can uh, do hand washing gamit yung uh, soap or hand, hand wash uh, yun. Or if you have alcohol gel sa bag mo. Ayan. Basta ugaliin na maghugas kamay kaagad pagkatanggal ng inyong face mask. So again, um, hindi nyo dapat siya nire-recycle kasi you are just putting yourself at risk um, para magkaroon ng um, infection. So, after 8 hours, as much as possible, ay, you discard your face mask. Bawal po siyang i-recycle, bawal po siyang gamitin ulit. Ayun, and yun na po yung ating uh, discussion for today. Sana may natutunan na naman kayo sa akin. If you did, please thumbs up, please subscribe, pakishare na rin po yung aking vlog. And don't forget to come back for more health tips from Mayora. And I hope to see you in my next. Have a lovely day. Bye!